Okay, guys, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the live stream for Tripwire, uh, the Wolf Rifle Cup. So, uh, today I want to introduce to you uh, one of the commentators today, and that is Merc26. How you doing, Merc? <laughs> oh, no problem, no problem. Well, today we've got an interesting match for us, because we're going to have the, if you want to pronounce this uh, German word for us, the NOD team. That's it. And against Forgotten Honor, or FH for short. Now, the teams are just getting ready up before we start, though. Of course, welcome to the pre show. And it's going to be interesting because this is the still the first part of the bracket. So we've got two teams ready in the losers, which is the Black Sheep and the Save Private Ryan, while we have the French Devils and the Mercenaries, I believe, in the winners bracket. So, we'll be starting here in a second. And just going to get a bit back on the teams, these both teams are already experienced, already in the grub matches, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Okay, we're going to switch to live now, because we've had to start. Alright, now we're in. NOD here, the Russians defending first. Yeah, you can see they're very experienced. Yes. Absolutely. And already we've got the uh, German side already here, getting in good positions, spreading themselves quite interestingly, but they're already concentrating on the right hand flank, covering while they're moving up, which is always very, very handy to do. So what do you do if yours uh, forgotten honor? What did your strategy be? Yeah, it, it's a nice, it's a nice tactic. Um, as you can see, uh, the group leader is moving on top, but the movement is really nice. They're really uh, just uh, in discipline. Oh, absolutely. It's a very fluent gameplay at the moment. And as you can see here, we've got Corpy and uh, his fellow comrade here, F4. Moving up here just into this uh, show hole next to the carriage. No one's been killed yet, interestingly. Oh, one's, as, as I said, one's already been shot in the head. So that leaves. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Goodness me, look at that. It's really interesting that the attackers take the first kill. Uh. Yeah, it is. Usually you would think the defenders would. Uh, the points being already battled for, and uh, that's. <laughs> free Russians down and of course the Axis have taken the first point it took them only about a half a minute for that, not too bad at all alright moving on to point Bravo really great movement be interesting to see the defences because They've only got a few entrances that uh, Forgotten Honor can enter, while the Russian team, the uh, NOD, can hold the top floor without actually uh, losing the points. And as you can see here, we've got Guardian taking a few down already. <laughs> Another great kill there, Quakers Quarters underneath the basement. And it looks like the uh, Forgotten Honor have used one of their first respawns, so that leaves them with one respawn left. That's quite a quite a dangerous tactic there. But what I really like about this team here is that they they're not rushing in; they're taking their time and they're picking off the Axis forces while the Forgotten Honor move in. It's got to be really careful here at the moment. Oh, and as you see there, Corpy just flanked them from the outside and has now walked in, leaving only one Russian player left into the point. And again. Yes, I think they didn't keep their eyes on the flanks, otherwise, they would have been doing not too bad. Interestingly, we've got uh, two players from the Forgotten Honor going underground, while we've got the rest going through to the top. 
And we've already got one killed there. Oof, oof, oof. Oh, there goes Guardian running in there, but he got shot. Oh, <laughs> that was a close one. Right, we've got two Russians down below. We've got Corp running right into the middle of their lines. Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> it's dangerous playing there, but they did it still. I don't think the Russian team noticed that. Yeah, the basement is always dangerous on that map. Oh, always indeed. Alright, this is the last point now. I know we've uh, got to do a few things before they can get into the point. Oh, they were a nasty fight in there. <laughs> See that in the room? <laughs> Dropping like flies. That, that was a quite an even. That was quite an uneven fight there. The poor sword. So we got stuck in there. But uh, you got Ger Gerblitz here. Oh, sorry for the the name. So oh, they're all German and I'm English. But uh, <laughs> gotta be careful here. Oh, Corpy's gone underground. In the basement. Okay, Valio is uh, flanking left, right? Yeah, he's up, he's already outside on the carriage. Yeah, he's coming back, sir. Oh, he got a shot on a Russian, but I don't think he killed him. Oh, he did. No, he's still alive, and he gets shot. <laughs> Goodness me. Last man standing, it seems. He's got to do something quickly. And he's been shot down. Oh, wow, I must say, that was a very interesting game there. Quick one. As all bulk cups are. And this time the German team is now defending rather than attacking. Be interesting. So the guys are splitting up too much, I think. Yes, I think they are as well. We've got a concentration of NOD troops on the right hand side here. They're getting cut down here on the left, while on the right they're also getting cut down. <laughs> Only two NOD members left, while the other side has four members. Not, not anymore though. <laughs> We've got Geb here flanking on the far right, using that cover wisely, which is very good. Geb there just got him nice. Well, oh, headshot as well. What a well played shot. But finished off there by Krop. He always seems to find that certain place, doesn't he? Ah, he's in a good position though. He's hiding and he's in the point. As long as he stays in the point, that's the important thing. As well as taking him out. NOD not using their spawn point. That's very interesting. I think they're waiting for their whole team to be wiped out. But that means time's being wasted. Yeah. Ah, and speaking of that, they've just respawned their whole team. Last two remaining German forces are hiding around near the trams. Oh, right, run into Grenz, there's shot right there. <laughs> Valio taking pot shots at them, but I don't think he's be able to do this now. Just too many to come by. Well, that's the first point A gone, but that took them a bit more time and a respawn point, which is going to cost them. They're going to have to make it up for the next two. Already taking shots. This Lee of RP there. Oh, running around, just got shot though. Oh, well done. A 
Got to be careful not to run around. You can't just keep running around. Heck, they're just taking advantage of them. No, I don't think there's much communication going on because nobody's saying there's anybody upstairs, I think. So uh, I think that's one of the things I've got to keep an eye on. But it's still theoretically possible for them to win, and I have no doubt that they could. They are playing aggressively, but they're getting a shot before they get into a decent position. And that's it, that's their last respawn, NOD has their last respawn. But I don't think they're going to be able to get the point now. The uh, Germans are very well lodged into that position there. Up in the windows, and that's what they're doing. They've already got eyes on them as soon as they spawn. So they're not safe, and I don't think they're communicating, as I said before. They're not saying there's people in the windows here, you need to keep an eye out. And not a change of tactic, they're trying the same entrances again. They should probably try and go around on the left. What do you think? Yeah, as you can see, it's a uh, um, <coughs> the um, yellow. losing my words. Below. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> yeah, we've got two Russians here at the bottom. Absolutely right. They are, they are communicate. Guys are everywhere. The last one. This is the last one. Yeah, so it's only uh, two Russians against three Germans, so th they can do this very much so. He's got to keep their eyes peeled. There's Krop there. Geb doesn't think he's noticed him. Oh, and then he gets shot in the head. Deary me. Yes, definitely communication's a problem here, I think. And they're not planning their attack. Yeah, and they split up too much. Right, well, we've got two more rounds coming up, ladies and gentlemen, where we swapped... Nation, so NOD will be playing as the Germans this time, and Forgotten Honor will be playing as the Russians. Or oh, so it goes to plan, they say. So while we wait for the teams to uh, reorganize themselves up, we'll be going to the We Are Free Sue show again, the studio scene. <laughs> I do like the studio screen, it's always good for talk. So you've played Red Orchestra a lot then, because you're part of the Merc clan, aren't you, uh, Merc26? What? Please? <laughs> you're part of the uh, Merc cl Mercery clan, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Great clan. Haha. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm sure it is. <laughs> Taking it from words from you, but uh, you experience with the uh, game a lot, Red Orchestra, aren't you? Oh, well, boy, game, please. Uh, oh, sorry. Is a little bit, is a little bit oh, not a problem. So you're uh, experienced with Red Orchestra too, then? You've been playing the game for a very long time. Uh, for oh, about four to five years now. Goodness me, <laughs> it's longer than me. Played it a long time as a senior. Player without any chance. Ah, I remember the single player. But no, no, not the single player, uh, multiplayer, but the uh, one man army. <laughs> ah. Alright, so we're heading back to the uh, game now. They've got ready to up, so waiting on a member from the NOD. So that's. The one guy is missing. Brought an honor at least have a victory point while NOD still on zero. Yeah, we've got a bit of a technical issues here. For some reason, the stream is a little bit laggy, so I'm trying to sort that out while uh, everything goes on at once. But um. Interesting. You can't exactly talk about the selection of their outfit. It's more, I think they need to use smoke a little bit more. I think both sides need to use smoke. Just, they're really just rushing in in the open valley and you cover. And that's not good. And we've seen here by NOD that it's not paying off too much. Yeah, it's wasting. Wasting units. Ah, now there, there he is. 
right here. Though. They haven't. I hope NLD will communicate a little bit more now. And Risty goes a little bit. And the game started. Be interesting to see the setup of the uh, teams. And already, NOD is attacking the. Yes. Well, the right flank is the most safest bet, at least, especially for a speedy game, because on the left hand side you have too many windows and open areas. And, <laughs> as I was speaking, Quartz just got shot there, just there by heck. That was a close fight. If you can see on the left hand flank, though, on the uh, Russian side, we've got Lepardi, who's uh, flanking them, I think, which is very interesting. He's taking his time. And we've got Velidi. Hiding in a tram. <laughs> oh, Colts there taking good shots at them on the right hand side. Using that uh, small little box there as good cover. I will say small box. Oh, missing the first shot. Oh, and gets shot on return. Oh, nice. Good play though. Yeah, you Goodness me. Seems the German side have uh, accompanied themselves in the building here, NOD. Which is always a expected thing. Oof. Guardian taking his shots there on the tram. F4 just getting out of there. But uh, being shot as well. <laughs> Leaving it 2-2 right now until the uh, team respawns. Oh. But you can see uh, both sides are playing a little bit more carefully now. Oh, absolutely. Good grenadier here. Trying to get him into point. Still no respawn used. And there goes Lepardi. Which now makes the point accessible for them to capture. Oh, but that was a... <laughs> yes. That was a... They have respawned now, yeah, and it's interesting because I think they waited for them, they waited to respawn once most of the enemy team was destroyed so they wouldn't lose too many people while taking a point. So, they're not too bad, and uh, Valio, I think he's just running out the back, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> uh, completely full back. Yeah, it's understandable. There goes A, took him a long time, but nonetheless they took it. on a run. Oh. Ooh. Experiencing some lag here. There we go. Uh, can Grenadier take him out? Can Grenadier take out Crop? No, I don't think he could. He just missed that. That was very close though. Got quick here, just slowly, carefully running in, but oh, took a pot shot there. And they split up again.
We're going to allow the Russians on one player left. They can easily capture the point without having to lose any men. And there goes B. A decent time of a minute and six seconds, not too bad. I think they're playing more defensively, at least, the Russian team. I think that's a good plan. I think the Germans are coming underneath them this time. We've got two people here right now. Slowly sneak it past, but uh, they're making a bit of a noise. But then again, I can confuse them, which would be a good idea. I remember when I did this, it was uh, very confusing for the enemy team, and they team killed by mistake. A Guardian here coming behind them. Is he going to get shots on anyone? Oh, oh, that was close. Oh, God, you're missing it and getting shot and falling down to his death. Oh, oh, oh. One version left. Yeah, it's uh, Leopardi again. He's running across, he's going to get shot. Oh! oh! I say that was very close, he could have held that point. Uh, Honourable death, my falling. And OD now moving in. I think they're just going to wait back a little bit get themselves sorted out. I think the communications picked up a bit more on the uh, Russian team, on the Forgotten Honor. A few Russian players down below as well. I have uh, one Corp here flanking. I forgot an FH flanking on the right hand side. Let's keep it on the outside. Let's be careful. Oh! Does he... Oh! He missed his right in front of him! Oh, but he gets some... He just gave his position away now. Yeah, the Russian team has really done well on this last point. There goes that point. So, four Russians right hand side. Four Russians this time. It's gonna be difficult for them. They're not using smoke. Commander is not using smoke. I think he's trying to do a sniper duel here with a. Uh, NOD, but uh, I guess it could be paying off. NOD have two victories here at the moment. Right-hand side, more in force. There's only uh, so many left, but oh, got shot before he got in cover. See if Lepardi can actually get another shot on the Germans. Feld Koch here on a uh, good position, but not as good as he thought. <laughs> Colt there just shooting him as the German ran right into him. That was a very unexpected event. And the uh, Russians go take this point now. There shouldn't be. There's no Germans so left. And they didn't respawn their team, which is uh, 
something I'm going to note. Which means they still have those all important two respawns left. Leopardis. Oh, I thought he would go downstairs. Yeah, Russians go down. Oh, it's Colk here waiting for one to peek. Shoots just to uh, keep his head down at least. And already yeah, allies are taking B. God, they're going faster than the other team, it seems. I don't know if that's temporary, but oh, 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 Colt there gets a snipe shot there. Well played. You got Q here charging in with his gun. Oh, oh, oh. Well played by him. He's running in. He's come behind them. See if he can get that commander. If he can kill the commander. They stop taking the point, and he kills him. Saving that point. That was very, very key playing there by Ku. Oh. They've now used their respawn, leaving him with one respawn left, the Russian team. However, that's... <sighs> he's done really quite well for himself here. But he's being suppressed. Yeah. Oh, cute, just running around. <laughs> and a uh, shot in the end. Here comes the Russian team. Sniper dual game of Mulders versus Colt, but Colt taking him down as well as uh, suppressing the other enemy team. I've got an idea here in a decent position. I haven't seen any smoke used yet though. And they could use smoke to blind the enemy so they have to make him come into the point, which is exactly what the German force wants them to do. But they're not at the moment. Is that what something you would do then, Merck? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, in general they, they use the smoke to less. Absolutely. And it's cost them this point. With one German left and three Russians, I don't think he can do it. Oh. But they run out of time. Honorable fight there. That was a good game. Definitely. Yeah, good, even teams, I think. Oh, absolutely. I was not expecting that to happen. But again, not a lot of smoke use. Looks like NOD have won this run, scoring a free. Out of four, well, three out of four. Let's say four, three, four score on points, and uh, to one. So 